So today I'm analyzing the wineberry bush. One of the easiest ways to pick these out when you're walking along is in early summer, late spring, you'll see all of these kind of hairy, spiny red pods growing on a bush. The berries themselves actually grow inside of these pods and they open up when the berry is ready. You'll notice also that the actual cane of the plant also has these very fine red hairs on them. It's one easy way to pick them out from other plants. You'll notice also that the underside of the leaves are much lighter. Similarly to the uh, raspberry plants, they're a light grayish white on the bottom and then a green on top. You'll see also, similarly to the raspberry plant, the leaves generally grow in bunches of three, although these aren't nearly as jagged around the edges and they're much rounder in appearance. So you can see, I cut the end off of this wineberry cane, it has a white center, that's what's known as pith, it's P-I-T-H. That's the white stuff in the center of the cane. It's hard to tell, but the sap of the cane is clear in color. You can get a close-up here of the fine hairs that run the length of the wineberry cane. It also has these barbs on it. They're very sharp. You wouldn't want to run through a patch of this. Those fine spines are a good identifying characteristic in the winter if you're looking for this plant when it loses its leaves. Sometimes the cane of the plant is also very red in color. You'll see those fine hair-like needles run all the way out to the leaves. In nature, generally when you see this plant, the canes will be, in a mature plant, they'll be five to eight feet in length. I've seen them larger than that. I've seen wineberries that had canes that were probably closer to 12 feet, but this common size are usually smaller than that when I encounter them. Where do wineberries generally grow? There are a lot of areas wineberries can grow. They can grow in direct sunlight. They do seem to prefer partial shade. I see them quite regularly growing along the edge of woods, often growing along the road. You can see them growing along fence lines and farms and stuff. They are an invasive species, so they're not native to North America. They came over from Japan over a hundred years ago. I don't know an exact date. I'm not sure if anyone knows an exact date when they arrived here. Here we have a close-up of the wine berry. You can see almost like a ruby red color, kind of shiny. It is hollow in the center, just like a raspberry would be. The fruit itself is fairly brittle when ripe. If you pick a bucket full of these, a lot of times they'll just kind of fall apart. And they do leave kind of sticky residue on your fingers when you pick them. Here's what the Odd that it grew in look like. You can see it has this center piece that was inside of the fruit with kind of a yellowish orange around the outside of it. See the other berries that are just about to start getting ready and ripe. Here you can see more berries. These aren't quite ripe yet, but they're getting pretty close to give you a better idea of how they look. See, there's one that's still kind of a yellow-orange color. This one's getting to be more of like the notable red color that they get to have. They do usually have pretty much fruit, and it is one of my favorite berries by far. We usually get these in early July here in eastern Pennsylvania. 
You might start seeing them around the 4th, maybe a little before. But it seems like a lot of them are you know, usually like the second week. They're pretty heavily fruiting where I'm at. When they're out in the sun, they tend to be a very bright reddish color like you see here, almost a purple. And that continues all the way down the cane where it's in the sunlight. These very fine spiny needles. And if you look down here, you will see actually opened up a little bit one of these pods. There's the unripe berry inside of it. As you can see, it's green. It'll turn red when it's ready. So here's an example of wine berries that are in the shade most of the day. You can see how they don't have that bright red color to them like they do when they're out in the sun. There's a little bit of pinkish in the needles and the cane there, but overall they're kind of a greenish yellowish and kind of pinkish color. So here you can see more ripe wine berries. What they look like when they're getting ripe. But they are one invasive species that I actually do enjoy because they have a pretty nice look to them and they have pretty good berries too. So I make these analysis videos to be educational and informative about the different plants that I show in them. This is not intended to be any kind of a foraging guide. If you're interested in foraging, I believe that that is a good skill to learn. But if you're going to go that route, you ought to consider getting a quality foraging book and maybe doing some online research, finding someone who's doing any kind of foraging classes in your area and learn from them. You want to be able to positively identify any kind of wild plants and know that they're safe to eat. There are a lot of poisonous plants out there. I would like to thank everybody who supports my channel and watches my videos. I would also like to wish everybody luck with their adventures and hope to see you soon.